Hey guys, Ben from Back Photography here, and today we're looking at something a little bit strange. This is the Helios 44-2 screw mount M42 lens. Now it's a 58mm f2, and it was produced between about 1960 to about 1980, and it is a Russian lens mainly used for M42 screw mount film cameras, but they can be adapted to any of the uh, new cameras that are out at the moment, such as any Canon DSLR, any Nikon camera, Sony mirrorless cameras, and Fuji mirrorless cameras as well. Now, this lens, they have a bit of a cult following because of the unusual optical qualities that they have, where they make really interesting swirly bokeh when used correctly. So I picked up this lens off eBay for $30. Normally they cost somewhere between $50 and $80, and if you're looking at getting a low aperture, fast prime that is incredibly sharp, then this is a great option for you for any lens ecosystem. Now you will need to buy an M42 mount adapter for your camera, but normally these only cost somewhere between three and ten dollars off eBay. So despite having to get adapter, it's still a really great choice for a cheap, sharp lens with interesting optical qualities. Now something to consider when buying this lens is it's fully manual, so that means it's manual focus and also manual aperture. Although, for filmmakers, you'll be pleased to know that it's actually a non-click aperture ring, so it's you're able to um, smoothly change the aperture without any jolts. So here is a picture that I took really close up with this lens, and as you can see, it's incredibly sharp, and because you're using a low aperture of f2, you can get some really nice out-of-focus backgrounds and some really nice skin tones just because the smoothness of the skin is accentuated because of the low aperture. So if you're using it really close up to your subject, it pretty much performs just like any other standard focal length prime would. But if you shoot anywhere between two and two and a half meters away from your subject and make sure that you have a background that's super, super far away, you can introduce some really interesting and beautiful swirly bokeh around your subject. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you found this informative and interesting. I would love to hear in the comments what your favorite lens is to use and if you know of any really rare or interesting lenses um, that you'd like to share with me, I'd be super interested in checking them out too. So please like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more in the future. I'll be producing a lot more stuff like this in the future so we really appreciate having you here and once again thank you very much for watching.